Finally, let's talk about the turbocharger. There are many advantages of a turbocharger application. The first one is downsizing. If you look at the uh, cars made in the last two or five years, the engines uh, have gone from a three point liter six cylinder into uh, two point liter or 1.5 liter four cylinder engines is because the help of the turbocharger. With the uh, the exhaust comes up from the exhaust uh, uh, expansion, the energy is recaptured by the turbine, which in turn turns the compressor. Right, the compressor drives the the air in. So in a turbocharged car, we always have the air to deliver power as long as there is fuel. Right. <laughs> In, in, the, in, the, in, in, in the fuel tank. However, it's not the same as a natural aspirated engine. Natural aspirated engine struggles to get the air in at a low um, speed, I mean between 2000 to 4000 RPM. Once it goes up to uh, 4000 RPM, uh, the difference between turbo and natural aspirated is less at uh, all reverse. Uh, the other advantage of the turbocharged car is it has a better fuel economy. As I just said, energy is recaptured, right? But that's the um, uh, that's the simple stuff to, uh, for us to understand. Let's just go back to a theoretical uh, method of how we come up with the idea of a turbocharger. Uh, the diagram on the right is the PV diagram. It shows us how the pressure and the, the volume uh, is the sweep of volume is changing according to different uh, uh, stroke inside the, the the engine. Let me just show you. Oh, sorry. So uh, from uh, one to two, right? That's a compression. Basically, the piston goes up from compressed air, and the two to three is the is the um, Ignition stroke, right? And the three to four, I don't know why my mouse goes away. So the three to four is the what, what is is the is the uh, the cylinder being pushed downwards to generate torque, and then the four to five to six is the exhaust comes out. And uh, for a turbocharged car, right, the intake pressure is always higher than the exhaust pressure because we have the turbines turning, turning at a high speed to drive the air in high pressure, high velocity. So we have a, a positive, uh, a positive uh, how do you say, workout to the engine, which improves the efficiency, right? However, it's not the same uh, with the naturally aspirated engine. The diagram on here shows you the difference. So for a naturally aspirated engine, the um, uh, the the induction, uh, basically the intake pressure is lower than the exhaust pressure because the exhaust pressure is coming off from uh, the expansion stage, right? So we lost quite amount of energy, probably about I don't know five percent of the thermal efficiency down there. Right, so let me just go back to this one. That's the real difference of how a turbocharged engine could help the fuel economy. So uh, that's all I want to talk about today and I hope you understand. If I made any mistakes, please leave the comments and uh, I hope you uh, understand how it works. Right, thank you. Bye bye.